it was too good to be true, of course. Yon's need for adventure pulled him off to the Arctic. He was supposed to be away for three months. After a couple of months, I stopped receiving the letters. Good, hard, honest work can take your mind off anything. I designed the costumes for a small play that turned out to be a huge success. And one night, this French guy was visiting the theater. And in the end of Act Two, I fell down the stairs and everyone was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pierre Cochet, the French actor. I am the top name at Theatre de Palais Royal. And this is Miss Olsen, who plays the captain's first wife. Ah, yes, of course, I remember. How lovely. It's an honor to meet you. And who is this lovely creature? Uh, this is Anna, our costume designer. Ah, uh, enchanté. Nice to meet you, too. Mr. Cochet is also artistic director at the Palais Royale. The one in Paris? The oui, my flower, the one in Paris. Your work is magnifique. I want you to make costumes for our next play. Me in Paris? Oui. Can you make big birds? I want feathers and wings and beaks. Well, that depends. You know, making big flashy costumes just for a show doesn't really challenge me. A costume should be an extension of the character and... and show the audience who the character is inside. That is what inspires me. Perhaps if you told me a bit more about the play. Mademoiselle, take my card. I will meet you tomorrow to discuss the details. Hmm. I'll call you then. And of course, the next day, we had excellent reviews, and I could find sponsors all over France. Pierre's offer wasn't only a career move, it was an opportunity to do what was best for me. A chance to get away from loud girlfriends and old lovers who popped up whenever they felt like it. Why wouldn't I say yes? She's a bird with fancy feathers walking through the room. The local lady of design will make all your costumes. She brought you all the tickets. Together, flock together, you and me, I say. Some say she's connected, and Bowie's in the car. She's got a set of white long legs, you know that gets you far. There's money in the picture, a picture you can't see. The birds of the feather flock together, you and me, I say. tried to keep up the thing with Frank, but I had this feeling. When I told him he couldn't move in with me, I was protecting him as well as myself. Right? Putting up that ad was the beginning of the end. Fifty people called, but I went for the one single woman who shared my views on love and commitment, Camilla. I know I haven't moved in yet, but welcome to our housewarming! Oh.
you away from your party. No, that's okay. It was actually you starting to annoy me. <clears throat> Look, I, I know this sounds a bit corny, but... I don't suppose this belongs to you, does it? I found it in the back of the van. Well then, let's see if it fits. <laughs> I know this is uh, technically trespassing, but I felt bad about leaving last night. Frank had no idea whose phone number he erased. As always, he meant well. I could have tried harder to find Johan. I know he thought I had his number, but hey, he was the one who knew where I lived. <laughs>
obviously this was just another adventure of his, and I wasn't crying over him again. That would be nice. You can pick me up at the airport and she has to go. Like hey, Anna, I met this guy. I look forward to work with you too. No, I talked with you yesterday, so no problems. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Au revoir. Oh, I met this really handsome guy down at the gym. <laughs> really? So Albert is history now? No, but he's desperate for a place to stay. So I told him my flatmate was going away for a couple of months. Oh. That's fine by me, as long as you take care of it all, then. <gasps> Thank you, God! This guy, he will make your mouth water! <laughs> Tell this Mr. Mouth Watery that if he wants to rent my room while I'm away, that'd be perfect. You can pick up the key Saturday before I leave. Oh, Anna, I love you. <gasps> if I'd known the true identity of this Mr. Mouthwatering, I'd never have said yes. I know a trick. Hey, what's keeping him? He's smart and he's gorgeous, and you can count on him. Oh, have a wonderful trip. Enjoy the spring, and not least the Parisian gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> 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 I'm just about to leave for Paris, so... I know. I'm not a I'm here for the keys. Keys? Of course. I'm a little confused, then. Then. Yeah. yeah. Didn't get much of a tour the last time I was here. No, that's right. You so that's Camilla's shelf, that's mine. I mean yours. You can make up a different system if you want, you and um Camilla. Jesus Johan, what are you doing here? You never called. I can't stop thinking about you. I lost your number. I tried to find it, but... I don't know what annoyed me most. Him appearing from nowhere again. Or him sharing my flat with Camilla. <laughs> <laughs>